you know, I have a tattoo on my back. It's called, it says, it's always darkest before the dawn. And that was the lowest part of my life, right? And I built myself up from there, and I'll fall again, and I'll build myself up again, and I'll fall again, but I will never reach this point down here of where I was. So um, that's one of the reminders that I have. And um, so going back a little bit to what you're saying, I got my personal trainer certification and my nutrition certification right around the time that I was going through all this heavy stuff for myself, wanting to think about committing suicide and all that stuff. So that's when all that started to change. I changed mentally to a more positive mindset thinking right around COVID, okay? And to go back to something that you were saying earlier about how friends and you want about 150 friends, but now think, let's think social media, right? Yeah. Okay, Instagram, you want, everyone wants those 150 plus millions of friends on their Instagram page and want all these hearts and all these likes, it's but... Perfectly filtered pictures that don't look anything like the person. Right, exactly. And so I ended up um, deleting my personal social media accounts because it became too toxic for me. And um, I spent most of COVID because uh, I wasn't working. I was on employment like most people were mm -hmm. in the beginning stages of it. And I would travel upstate New York to Saratoga, Lake George area, and I like hiking. Yeah. And I, that's where a lot of my mental breakthrough started mm. to happen. So, mm -hmm. you know, everything happened to a point about 2020 is when I really decided to really make the mental breakthrough, mental change, because I was tired. I told myself in a moment, I'm like, I'm no longer living in the past. What has happened has happened. It's made me who I am. I don't regret any of it. I, you know. That was my life I had. It's made me who I am up to this moment. It's but amazing, I'm, the power of nature, huh? The power of yeah. getting away from the busyness of city and people and noise and going into a place larger than yourself, yes. like the mountains or the ocean or the desert, and handing the control over to it, and then whatever comes out of it for you is really life changing. It and is. it sounds like while you're going up to the Adirondacks and up through Saratoga, that just that energy that was there you soaked up and needed badly.